In a continent that is made up of a collection of neighbouring countries, there has always been conflict and struggle, but also a need for collaboration to ensure a peaceful coexistence. The concept of solidarity is an expression of this desire, and it has been prominent in European politics since the 1800s. Solidarity is not a new term, nor a fixed term. It has multiple dimensions, and it changes with history. The first articulation of the term in European history can be traced back to the French Revolution, when solidarité européenne was first used as a political keyword. After the Napoleonic Wars, the Holy Alliance used a Christian democratic approach to bring together allies. It was one of the first times that European solidarity was used to keep political order. During the First World War, as borders across Europe were being crossed, violated and rearranged, there was a need to build alliances, something that triggered European thinking and solidarity. Decades before the creation of the European Community, in the 1930s, the French government wrote a memorandum to the League of Nations on the organization of a system of federal European Union. It outlined the need for establishing a permanent regime of solidarity based on international agreements for the rational organization of Europe. However, there were times when solidarity was also used for darker means, in the late 1800s, European solidarity was manifested by European countries against the local populations of their colonies, and it was later weaponized in a similar way by the fascist and Nazi dictatorship against minority populations. Fast forward to better times, as different formats of solidarity began to appear in the 80s, such as the founding of the Polish trade union movement, Solidarność, which used civil resistance to enforce change. In 1981, French President Mitterrand created Le Ministère de la Solidarité. And in 1987, in his encyclical Solicitudo Re Socialis, Pope John Paul II mentioned solidarity as a Christian virtue. Solidarity is a concept present in many religions, pivoted on the idea of love for our fellow human beings. The term solidarity has been key in the development of the European Union and has helped articulate European thinking and shape the European vision. The word is found in the preamble preceding the Charter of Fundamental Rights of the European Union, the treaty establishing a constitution for Europe, and more recently, in the EU Treaty of Lisbon. European solidarity is mentioned alongside democracy and the idea of a European identity in a community of equals. Recently, solidarity has once again taken centre stage in the European political landscape when the continent started facing new shared challenges, both humanitarian and economic, especially with the refugee crisis at its borders. In 2016, Jean-Claude Juncker proclaimed in his State of the Union address that solidarity must come from the heart. It cannot be forced. And on that idea, we set out to build the European Solidarity Corps. Right now, Europe and the whole of the world is facing a new crisis with the spread of a pandemic. Now more than ever, it has been made obvious that the air we breathe, the space we inhabit, our weaknesses and our strengths are shared and we must stand with each other in solidarity in order to survive. We don't only call for solidarity as an urgency, but we seek it and we must forge it. Solidarity means, at the end of the day, we are all in this together.